Did you hear about Mac? You probably have a Mac in your own town. At this moment, there are more than 3600 stores in over 100 countries on all continents, less Antarctica. Do you want to know how this empire was built? Or maybe you want to start a business that develops in a similar way? Then you should know a little about the exponential equations. One of the forms that an exponential equation t can take is a raised to the x is equal to b, where a is greater than 0 and different than 1. What does a, b and x mean and how can they help you develop your dream empire? The first Mac was opened in 1940, and for a while it was the only one. If we want to mathematically translate this moment, we should think about the formula a raised to 0 equal 1, where a is different than 0. Starting with 1955, Mac began to develop into a franchise system. Franchise is a system whereby anyone can open a renowned store or a restaurant for a fee. This allows you to grow your business exponentially. But let's return to A, B and X. In 1955 there were 8 stores. This can be written in the form of 2 raised to 3. If we also know that every five years the number of shops has doubled, can we find out in what year were 128 stores opened? The number is doubled every five years. We obtain the equation. Obviously, in this particular case, 3 plus y is actually the unknown term from the exponential equation, x. Let's continue. 128 can be written in form 2 raised to the power of 7. So, the previous equation can be rewritten as... Since we have the same basis, 2, in order to keep the equality true, exponents have to be equal. 3 plus y equals 7, therefore y equals 4. But what is y? You can pause to find the answer yourself. Had you thought y is the year? Mm, you are close. In fact, y represents the number of 5-year periods from the original time, 1955, to the moment when the 128 stores were opened. To find out the year when 128 stores were opened, our initial problem, we have to make the following calculation. Now that we know that there were 128 stores in 1975, if the rhythm of the business growth remained the same, how many stores do you think are open in 2015? You can pause the video to find the answer yourself. First, we need to find out how many 5-year periods have passed since 1955 by 2015. We will translate the problem in terms of the simple equation. This actually means that there were 12 growth periods in this time. If we know y, we can find x. Thus, will be equal to the number of stores. Now that we've learned how the franchise system can help us achieve exponential growth in our business, maybe we should find out what the exponential equation is. Exponential equation is actually the equation in which the unknown is an exponent or in which the exponent is an expression that contains an unknown. a raised to x is equal to b or 
a raised to ax is equal to b, where a is a strict positive real number different from 1 and b is real number, and a is the expression containing the unknown. The solution of an exponential equation e of unknown x is an actual number x, 0, with the property that by replacing x with x, 0 in the equation, we obtain a true equality. Two exponential equations are called equivalents if the sets of solutions coincide. For example, 2 raised to x is equal to 16 and 3 raised to x is equal to 81 are equivalent because solution x0 equal to 4 is common to both equations. In the future units, we'll find together the right steps to solve other math problems. Stay with us and if you enjoyed our way of teaching, spread the news to as many students and teachers as possible.